I'll take this one right now. Damn. I'll take it right now. I'll take it right now. Is that on tape? Yeah. Huh? Hi, I'm, I'm Ken from Reverend Guitars, and I am smart enough to know when not to play. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Did you hear that? Woo! Did you hear that? I'll tell you what, you know what, baritones, are delicious. And this, I have to say, ergonomically, visually, sonically, pretty hard to beat. Thank you. Pretty hard to damn beat. Yeah. You can do all of the normal things you do on a... Bar on top of it. I love it. It just sounds phantasmagoric. And what I, I like about it too is that if you back off on that, it really cleans it up nice on that uh, the base contour. The base contour. It really sounds good. So you can do. It. But if I want a little bit more, put that. You know. That was a little song, a th song I wrote called Sybil. <laughs> Sybil. Remember Sybil? A lot of people don't remember Sybil. Shepard? No, remember that show about the the woman with multi-personality disorder? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. in the day when we were young, yeah. Yeah. there was a time. Yeah. Well, I'm a little I, older I, than you are. I was probably I think not I'm, born. But... I think I'm, you know what? I'm only five years older than you are. <laughs> you big son of a gun. Holy crap, he plays the hell out of that guitar. I'm embarrassed to even own one now. And here I was thinking I was all go for bad. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Wildwood. Hey, Wildwood dudes, set up an amp for me because I'm gonna play with Greg. <laughs> no, this is fun, what? Music is, about, yeah. music is about fun. It's about people getting together oh, and rocking. That was fun because I wasn't playing. <laughs> <laughs> So, the Reverend Descent, which he just kicked its ass, and, and that is exactly, what he just did is exactly the thought process behind making this guitar. Naylor, Reverend Guitar Designer Extraordinaire, Mr. Joe Naylor, uh, is, um, is, is a meddler, right? And he likes himself some detuned guitars. Does he drink and blood? He does drink blood. Um, and he, he, has a, he has a, he's gonna be so pissed. I'm going to tell everybody this. He's got like a two-man instrumental, like crazy weird surf metal thing. He's got yep. this like kick-ass drummer guy, and the two of them play, and I, I think he might be in drop A all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he writes all this like fantastically funky <laughs> It's really cool. And I bug him about it to like, like, dude, play out, play out. Come on, man. Come on. He goes, well, we will, we will. We're getting there. We're getting there. And just like with his guitars, it's like a, it's like a constant work in progress. Sure, I understand. Right? Yep. I mean, and, I, and, and, and at one point, he's going to blow everybody away because it's cool, man. So him playing around in that tuning with this guy for years led to this guitar. Uh, what we've done here is instead of just saying, you know, in that Reverend, in the same way that when Reverend makes a signature model, we go to the artist and go, we don't want to just put your name on this. We want from the ground up for this to be your thing. Uh, when Joe decided he was going to do a baritone, it wasn't, well, we're going to put a longer neck on something we're already making. It was a whole how, new thing. How can we correct everything that's wrong with the guitars where somebody just puts a longer neck on it, right? Um, so what you have here is, oh, wait, hold on. What you have here is a Karina body. 
uh, with the bridge and the pickups set back into the body. Uh huh. Uh, a little bit more than normal, uh, so that we get proper intonation from this 26 and three quarter scale neck. And also so that when you sit down with the inch and a half or inch and a quarter longer neck or two inch longer neck, depending on what you're used to playing, you're, you don't feel like you're doing right. this. You just can sit and hold the guitar and play and it's natural. Your right arm is in a natural spot as, as you're playing the model. So, um, and again, lock and tuners, nut, nut finished properly. Uh, so we can put the Wilkinson Trent on this thing and you can trim to your heart's desire. Wicked. These pickups are Railhammer H90s. Um, the idea behind the Railhammer, Railhammer is, is, is uh, also Joe's baby. It's Joe's company, Railhammer Pickups. Check them out, railhammer.com. They come standard on a lot of Reverend guitars. Um, the idea behind the Railhammer is you've got a blade underneath of the wound strings and then oversized Alnico the Coast slugs underneath of the plane strings. It works great as a humbucker. It works great as this is sort of a P90 variant, mm -hmm. um, just under a bridge, so you can do whatever you want, right? Uh, with the uh, the idea behind the blade is it keeps your low strings compressed and tight, uh, while the Alnico slugs allow your plain strings to bloom. Yes. Bloom. Bloom into a mushroom cloud of ta ta, -ta, -ta it, it, it sounds fantastic as a single coil. And it's also amazing as a humbucker. We do this model in a hardtail with two rail hammer humbuckers in it as well. Um, so these are in fact single coil pickups. These are big, yeah. big single coils, yes. That's that base contour super, really makes super a cool. huge, yeah. Super cool. Indeed. running the bridge pickup with the bass contour all the way off yeah. there. Now let's put the bridge, put the bass contour up about halfway and put both pickups on just for grin. <laughs> So we've also developed, uh, and we, we ship the guitars with this, Joe developed a custom string gauge uh, that, that we offer. Uh, you, can get a, you can get the strings at dealers, you can get them through reverendguitars.com or whatever. Um, but they're uh, strings, the uh, SIT strings, Reverend Signature Baritone set. Okay. And it includes a plain 26 for oh, what yeah. is tuned to a D on this guitar. Um, you bend so, it. so you don't have the weird wound third. Right. And you can do, uh, I don't know, Chuck Berry licks. Yes, comfortably. I tell you what, I love it. I want guitar players to pick up this guitar and just have it feel like a guitar. It, and it, it lo does. and behold, you're in B. Yes. Right? B as in buxom, beautiful, bodacious, beautificent. What? Where are we? We're at Wildwood Guitars. <laughs> We're at Wildwood Guitars in beautiful Louisville, Colorado. I'm with Ken Haas with Reverend Guitars. And who are you? I'm Gregory Stephen Kuchenheimer Schmidt, a bold warrior of the nocturnal world. Now listen, <laughs> we are showing you today brand new offerings from Reverend these are Pateaus, are they not? 
some say protos, some say protos, some say proctos. Wait a minute, those these are doctors. Guitars, these guitars were launched in January of 2015. I remember. So they've been out for about a year. You were in the booth when we made the announcement, I actually believe. I actually did a modern interpretive dance to celebrate it. Yes, I, there's probably a video somewhere on Wildwood's site of you playing these in our NAM booth at the launch. NAM booth! Hey. Song, song called NAM booth. Right. Uh, I can dig it. Yeah, man. These are magnificent. Thank you very much. We uh, this has been it's been huge for us this year, really, and rightly so. Yeah, man. And what's great about these things too is that the low end frequency, if you have it properly amplified, could actually remove polyp matter from individuals several counties over with just the power of sheer rock music. Hell yeah, damn. Later, cats. See. You. <laughs>